No, you're going to pay him 450 why don't you buy these blondes? Oh, okay. Absolutely, absolutely. That's a good deal. You gonna come out? Hey? Hello? 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 That's it. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. I'm Rob Chalice. Uh, I am a hobbyist in terms of looking after snakes. I have about 220 at home and about another 40 at London Zoo and the London School of Tropical Medicine. They're the venomous ones. All the ones at home here are all quite harmless. We have probably about six or seven species which are either extinct or on the cusp of extinction that we breed. So they're our priority animals and they're the ones that really we can never have too many of them. When we find one, we bring them in. Having a responsibility for 200 animals is, is uh, one's very conscious of that. So one never leaves them alone too long. Everything is monitored at least twice daily. I always aspired to be a collector. It hasn't taken over my life. It's added something very special to my life and my family's life. Most snakes, venomous included, just want to get away from us. They don't want anything to do with this. I admire that because I'm a bit like that too. I would rather sort of stay away than engage unless people I'm really very fond of. Another appeal of them is they are the underdog. You see in uh, areas of India where there's a reduction in snakes, there's an immediate increase in things like typhoid and cholera and airborne and insect-driven diseases, hence the reason for conservation. They have a tremendously valuable uh, place in, in, uh, in uh, conservation. And also in terms of um, drugs for serious illnesses like cancer and diabetes, venomous snakes now proving to be one of the principal sources of drug development for things like breast cancer, cervical cancer, and I take Gila Monster Lizard Venom daily by injection on the National Health for diabetes. So it's not just about snakes are creepy, crawly, slimy little things, they have an enormous social consequence and they are wonderful and distinct characters. Aren't you Harry? You're a distinct character? So yes, there you go.